Imagine if you could recharge your smartphone with every footstep, or if the wind hitting your jacket could power your battery. It may sound like science fiction, but a team of researchers at Georgia Tech built a power source that does just that, generating electricity from these everyday motions and more. We have invented a, a, a new energy technology. I believe that's going to change the world we live in the near future. Zonglin Wang and his team presented their findings at the 247th National Meeting of the American Chemical Society in Dallas. The first of its kind, this so-called triboelectric nanogenerator, features two sheets of unique materials. When the materials touch, electrons flow from one to the other. When they're apart, a voltage develops. The second mode is sliding. If you have two materials, they slide one against the other one. You can also have a charge here. One mode is physical contact, and the other one sliding. These are the two basic modes we use for electricity generation. You can generate that electricity using any two surfaces. Any number of materials can be used, including paper, metal, PVC, and cloth, to name a few. But Wang and his team supercharged the process using nanomaterials. By using nanostructure on the surfaces, we can largely increase the surface area. More surface area means more electricity. Lots more. When it was first developed, the device produced about 3 volts of power. Using new materials and research, it can now generate up to 10,000 volts. The power density is different by 1,000 times. By applying polymers to everything from shoe insoles to backpacks, keyboards to touchscreens, you may be able to power your own cell phone just by going about your day. But Dr. Wang doesn't want to stop there. He wants to use ocean waves to power the world. And soon. It can contribute significantly to the worldwide energy need in the near future. It will not take too long, five years.